So, this one's in here. The bug can come in here. I'll sweep up a little bit before I do that. Before I do any of that, let's see how close we are to being able to A, get the rat rod to drive into the barn under its own power, and B, whether or not it will fit in there. Oh, I love that thing. Just look at it. Oh, see, that's as good as a trip to the beach for me, just to see a net sitting around after after it seemed like winter was already upon us. Makes my heart feel good to know that maybe it ain't. Not yet, anyway. All right, so this piece sitting here, this is the front end frame piece for Volkswagen. I got that in case I need it for that dune buggy. I think I can set it back there. This is one that uh, Rob, I gave him a frame and he brought me this part back. So I thought I might need that part. These two pan pieces are going to be going on Honey Baby's car. I got two fenders here. This air tank that I, I've never yet figured out what I'm doing with. I can go over here too. Maybe that's where it was. Way back. Looks like that's where it was. Okay. I had these fenders hanging up and now I can't figure out where I had them or how I had them. Exactly. But they go right in here. This reminds me of watch one of Cutworm videos and he was in his shop trying to stack things move things around and that's what this kind of reminds me of now the cover for that Ford is around somewhere it may be upstairs in that uh, shed up there these four pans might as well go ahead and round the garage because this floor pans is going to take the place of those rusted ones that's in Honey Baby's little Volkswagen that's sitting out there. Let's see how far we get that hot rod to go before the clutch stops working. Might go all the way in there. I guess if I got it at the right angle, I can get it all the way in there and y'all can see it. We'll try it at this angle. Now that's my idea of a good day when you can get the hot rod to go where you want it to go without having to get out the <laughs> without having to bleed the clutch, get out the chains, do any of that funky stuff. I think last year I might have had to pull this in here with a winch or something. There's plenty of room. She's not up too close. I was afraid to try to drive it closer because that clutch is so iffy. I never know when it's going to release. But that's good because it gives me plenty of room to walk around and get to my parts. If Honey Baby's little car will fit in here okay, let's go get it and just see how it fits. 